No worries. Um, I'll be back in here or not. Anyways, sorry about that. Welcome to what is supposed to be this first Splatoon 2 event type of deal. The first expansion and probably the last expansion. Now you might be asking to me, Grim, what the fuck? Wasn't this game released or wasn't this expansion pack released like last month? When E3 was going on? Like, why didn't you play it then? I mean, everyone else did. And I'm like, yeah, you're right. Everyone else did do it. But as I listed down below, the only thing that kind of stopped me from doing it is the fucking Amiibos off the hook coming out in the 13th. God fucking damn it. And I'm hoping to God I get it on tomorrow, being Friday, when they come out. So that way I can be able to do the last thing, which is basically once I'm done this expansion, I actually get to see the picture of Pearl and Marie, much like I did with um, Callie and... Callie and... Ah, uh, fuck. Marie. Maria. Callie Marie. No. Calamari. I don't know. That, that's the joke with that. those two. Anyways, yes. Um, so we're going to be taking a look back after almost what seems like a year since I played Splatoon 2. We're coming back to this day and age of the game. Because there's this new expansion pack for 20 bucks, roughly, and it's called the Octo Expansion. For the first time ever, we'll actually get Octolings in the game. Amazing, right? Yeah, I know. Very amazing, very expensive. But as this whole thing is going to end up being, I'm just gonna make sure the adjustments of everything like that. We are now going into this game live, of sorts. So, full disclosure, as I get stuff set up here, I hope you do like the fucking layout that I did, as I do with any game. But full disclosure, I did play through this game. I know. Um, actually, I only did it to two parts, and I did it through the other account. This is the main account, so we're going to actually see as if nothing new happened. And, yeah, unfortunately, we're going to have to watch through all the stupid updates, unfortunately. So, bear with us while we take a look into the off-the-hook account. It seems like they're still doing the same stuff. The only problem is now it's just going to be longer. Tell people the good news before. Okay, what's the good news? Oh! Ah, oh, the splat thing. Really, they're doing this again? I'm wondering, what was this year? Oh, what's this one coming up supposed to be? Alright, whatever. What is it? Oh, of course. Oh my god. Yeah, squid or octopuses. So, of course, we're gonna see... It's a see a lot of these people here. I should be reading this, but I don't know. Mm hmm I didn't even know that the squids have more legs. Speaking of octopuses, there is one that's adorable where it's like, um, there's, there's a video of it. They're actually a small octopus, and it lives somewhere around, um, a beach area that has coconuts. And the reason I bring this up is because it protects itself by having the coconut and observing it like a, like a actual, um, a shell, and then it just rolls around. It's just, it's so weird, but yeah, it's just... Very interesting. That and the fact that those things can just slip and slide all through everything. Yeah, so anyways, gotta choose cover sheet, whatever that is. Thy appearance shall match thy team. Ah, oh, I see. Okay, so you can only... So you can only be in one team if you have one or the other. So I feel like, in this instance, Team Octopus is going to be probably the winner because of how much shit it's going to be there. Though it seems like I might be Team Squid by this... Oh, actually, no, it's on the 21st. No, I should be able to be Octopus by then. Yeah, 
Yeah. Yeah, so I had to wait to get these two amiibos. Oh, a new stage. Oh, that's nice. I'll never actually get to play it because it's not like I can select it by myself. More shit I don't care about. Oh yeah, and then they, and then tell you stuff like this is like, oh, we updated in the Splatoon 2 website, so God help you. And then, all right, here we go. This is where all the long stuff starts coming in. Oh, all this stuff. All this stuff for one particular screenshot I'm just trying to get ahead of. So there's like... Oh yeah, and then of course. The salmon run thing. Wait, what is this? Huh. So now they're doing this too? Like, it's not bad enough that it's not long enough. Oh my goodness. Man, yeah, that's nice. My god, this this is like this is the Pearl Marie show. This doesn't end. Also, I feel like this is just crap. Oh my god. I feel so bad because it's going to be... It feels like I'm going to have to refresh the screen, but I don't want to because as soon as I do, it's going to crash. Knowing this stupid update. And this is what I wanted. <laughs> this is... I did all that just for this. Uh, is it just me or does that alleyway seem a little fishy? Yeah, definitely something fishy going on over there. Probably best to ignore it. Yeah, so that right there basically tells you, yeah, you should do whatever. Oh, wait, by the way. As you can see, World Nintendo Splatoon Fest squag. Got some Squidward memes. You can't, it cannot be that unless it's Squidward memes. So how is this? Man, I want to be octopus. Yay. I don't care. I have no idea. Anyways, it's like you, you traitor. But, um... Right. What's interesting, too, is I also am playing this game on the actual Pro Controller, and it's the Splatoon 2 theming, so it just matches really best for this. Anyways, I'm going to try something new. I'm going to add a new... Hold on. Let's see if this works. Is this better than this? No, it's not. Right. Okay, I wonder what will happen. Alright. Fingers crossed. Give me one second. I'm gonna just pause one. Th I'm just gonna see if this works. Give me a second. Okay. So... We should be back now. I've gotten it fixed a lot better, so the frame rate is not ass. And, um, yeah, I was kind of scared because I didn't want this to have this break here. Huh. Anyways, if you remember back in the first game of the first playthrough of this, I think we had like six parts, so technically this is the seventh. There was this alleyway. It did nothing, but if you go ahead and press listen, listen closely. Would you like to enter the story that echoes up from deep underground, the Splatoon 2 Octo Expansion? This is where we'll be able to go to and from with this expansion, and because this whole gameplay will be just because of this, the answer will be yes. Let's enter. Also, apologies on some bad voice acting coming throughout with this one, so just be prepared for that. Pale summer moonlight shimmers on the seafloor. An octopus, unaware that dawn will bring capture, rests within the trap, dreaming fleeting dreams. Also, I don't know why there's so much haiku in this thing. And the only reason I knew about this being haiku is because of Spyro 3. A game that I still have to play this year before the other thing comes up. Oh, good. 
Ahoy, Octoling! Up and at him, you lazy whipper rapper. Oh god, look who it is. He's up on my face. This fight ain't over. Prepare for a royal whooping. But there's no honor in defeating an unarmed opponent. And I see you have lost your weapon somewhere around here. It's DJ Cuddlefish. I don't know why he looks like this, too. And just where is here? Anyway. <laughs> I could go old man on this, but I don't know. My voice is gonna hurt. Alright, fine. Old man attempt 3 2 1. Last time I remember, you were battling my protege, Agent 3, in Octo Valley, when both of you were suddenly attacked by someone. And somehow, we got marooned here. So, uh. How is about we call our temporary truce while we find a way to escape? But where are my manners? I haven't even told you my name! Here we go. I'm Captain Cuddlefist, leader of the legendary new Squid... Squid Beak Splatoon. This guy, if you haven't played Splatoon, the original one on the Wii U, which I don't blame you because no one did. But if you did, um... You actually got to meet who Cuddlefish is, so... We're not gonna learn much about... You're gonna learn a little bit more about who this character is in this game, as well as more the relationship with Pearl and Marie. And I'll ex be explained later on, but for now, you know. And you are! Oh, oh dear. <laughs> this is the part where you tell me your name! By Kraken! You lost your memory when you hit the ground! You can't remember anything about yourself. Anything at all? Yeah, and here here comes where you get to choose your character. Oh. Oh dear. <laughs> this is certainly weird indeed, like the whole test chamber type thing. It's so bizarre. But anyways, we're gonna be playing as like the last one we're gonna be being a girl because, you know, Nintendo wanted us to do that. And I'm gonna go with do a dart. I think this was the skin type that they had. Yeah, I think so. Anyways, that they were explaining. And there's only two types of hairs. There's like these two. And this is the only one that looks good. This one looks kind of crappy. And I think the boy's hair also looks shitty. So they're kind of making you want to play as the girl anyways. My eyes are... I'm gonna do orange. Is this me? Yeah, it is. There we go. Most interesting. Sorry, I've, I've fucked the old man voice. Wow. Wow, okay, whoa. What? What is with the spandex and that tag on the bat down there? I noticed you were humming calamari in the intactation right before you came to. Could it be? Has this heavenly manly been in in etched into your very soul? I take your stun silent as yes. I've heard tale of octolings whose souls were en en enchanted by those squid tactics groups. But that was a couple years back during Agent 3 battle with DJ Octavio. Though this is explaining about what happened in the third, I mean the first game's ending. So spoiler alert. Um, but also, when you, if you collected the scrolls in this game, you would actually know that this was not the only octoling that got enchanted by the song. There was another one who uh, we'll meet more in this version of the game. Still, I can't shake the feeling that this is related somehow. In any case, sorry for the sincere Agent 3 on your back there. Any fan of the Squid Sister is a friend of mine. I mean, that with all my heart. Now, dust yourself off and find your land legs. We need to get it moving. You know what? Hold on. Let's find a way out of here! Alright, so now we got some, uh, now we get to play and move around, and I forgot. Okay, so I'm, I'm pretty much fucked for now. I'm fucked for now, but I have to remind myself to go back in there to kind of show you some stuff once I get to the option, and then... My god, why, why with the spand- like, what's with the leather? So yeah, we look like we're in some sort of underground... Huh. You know, this looks like this, you know what, this looks like Toronto's subway system. I remember growing up in around Toronto area, and I just, yeah, this is Toronto in a nutshell. 
people would go like, oh, it's New York. But no, New York actually, I think, has gotten way better compared to how this is now. I also love the fact they kind of do this weird kind of pixel art type thing with, uh, you know, some Easter eggs here. Yeah, but this is very linear based. It's basically telling you what the objective here is on with this game. There's a lot of details too, but they're very precise with like where you're supposed to go and what you're supposed to do, so... It's not like you have any choice here. Also, that's a weird face that they kind of made with the sticker. It's like, it's like almost like you're doodling on a book. You know how sometimes when you're bored at school and you're like doodling, sometimes you'll just make stupid faces? Anyways, abandoned subway system. So this is just like in case you haven't played the game because you could play this without playing the actual game. So it's like kind of teaching you how to do everything. Okay, I have to relearn because I'm using a control. Oh. Oof. Okay, so that's what octolings look like. They, it almost looks like they gave him a mustache and he got some... Thick legs there. Got them thick octopus tentacles. It's very bizarre. Oct uh, confirm the octoling octopuses are thick. That's so bizarre. But anyways, yeah. Here we go. Man, this is... Oh, I can't even come back here. Huh? Well, I'm, I guess I'm stuck there forever. Anyways, this is where it gets bizarre. So this whole concept is basically you're doing tests, right? But the way this is kind of like... Proceed with caution indeed. I don't know why, but I've always joked about like... Hey, that's an Octarian bowl. You need a key to open it. Oh. Being Octoling and all, I'm sure this place doesn't look familiar. What's interesting is that this is like... No way you can get to anywhere. But then you see this area here. So this is kind of giving you a concept of what is to come. So this weird pad, if you go through here, it gives you the option to get a gun, right? And now this is back to normal. Now, I may to and from talk, but I'm not probably going to when this stuff goes on because it's kind of hard for me to uh, concentrate and give commentary at the same time. So, our objection is to find the key into this place, and um, believe it or not, there's multiple ways you can do it. The spoiler here is that there's actually, it's up there, right? Up on that vault there, that's the only way you can go there. So there's this way you can go and do this, right? And it's in this thing right here, right? So that's all done, right? But, like I said, there's multiple ways you can have done this. So, for example, I could have done this, and then done this, right? To get up here. Or, and there is a, there it is. Or I could have done this. So it kind of gives you, like, an idea of how you can go around with doing a lot of stuff. So this is just kind of like training. So there's like three ways you can get up here. Oh yeah, that's the other thing too. Okay, so you know how oct octolings have... Uh, not octoling, this... You know squids, they have this meme that everyone does, which is the woomy, right? For some reason, when it comes to the Octavians, or this one in particular, she doesn't go woomy, but I've always heard at one point they say sweet. Uh, if, if, if she does it again, I'll point it out, but just listen in. She'll probably say sweet at one point, and I think what just happened was just one of those. Like, sweet! Like the deal. God. <laughs> Cringe is real. Anyways. So, that's about it. So now we can- we have our weapons, and now we can go, right? What the fuck? It stole my weapons. <laughs> Don't worry. You're only gonna need the weapons for that certain areas, and this is why it's gonna get somewhat difficult in some areas. But, honestly, you're gonna have to check it out. So this is bizarre, okay? I'm just gonna say this right now. The fact that we're in some sort of abandoned subway station, 
and we have to do various ch ch chests, um, various tests, in order to move on. We got weird shit fly all over the place and garbage all over the place. I I am having a very weird jigsaw saw series vibe going on here. So this this could be like people say this is the Dark Souls to Splatoon. No, I say this is the saw to the Splatoon. Well, we found the way out. Sort of. Alright, I'm just changing his voice. I, I stopped caring. Ugh. Wow. Oh. Okay. There's a telephone. But let me show you something very stupid, okay? Let's go back. As you can see, we were walking on this road, right? Now, obviously, I can't go there because I'm going to fall down. But I could probably just jump over here, right? No, I died. That makes sense. Yeah, so you're basically limited to over here. There's no way you can go over there at all. And, yeah, this is the only thing that's worth noting on here. So let's just answer the phone. So telephone. Searching for user ID. User 10008 confirmed. So that's... 10,008. Okay. Greetings, 10,008. Your currently location is Deep Sea Metro Central Station. My primary function is to facilitate your journey to the Promised Land. Pleasure to make your acquaintance. Ascending communication efficiency. Efficiency. 12.42% Enabling communication speech mode Content- wait, what? Oh my god What is cracker lacking, home skilly? The skillet? Let's bounce onto the promised land for show Oh god, the fucking 90s I'm about to- I'm about it, about it So listen while I stang my found New to the facts <laughs> My god you have, sp you have spent your entire life in the dark. Your eyes closed to the new hotness that awaits. The promised land, an utopia of light beyond your wildest dreams. It is all that in the bag of cool beans. I will, I will take you to the promised land now. Not, <laughs> psych out. Only cats will have to prove themselves can error the promised land. Do you dig dog? There has been 10,007 applicants so far, which makes you applicant 10,008. This opportunity comes once in a lifetime. Yo, good luck and slang not found. This is Deep Sea Metro Station, the re the real real dealio central hub to the facility. Here is your CQ880 and CQ card. They are so bad. <laughs> They're so bad. This reminds me of fucking the wizard when there's that one character, the villain per se, and there's he's advertising the power glove and it's just like it's so bad. Like it's supposed to be like like so bad as it's like it's cool. But ironically enough, it was bad. Like okay, you know, just watch AVGN, it's it's pretty much there. Okay, so this makes sense, right? Prints out the card. How the fuck did that come out? It's just a spit out of that. <laughs> Guard them with your li Lizzy li Lizife, because if you lose them, you will be error. Now come on, ride train, Audi 5000. My god, the slang. Applicant 10,008, eh? That's a beakful. I think I'll just call you Agent 8. <laughs> That's why she's called Agent 8. Yes, I'll call you Agent A because that number at last is A and not the fact that you're an octopus or something. Not that I'm racist and all. And um, uh, people are like, oh wait, so if she's number 8, that means there must be 7 other people. So that, like, who the hell is number 7? So it's just like, no, I think it's just they call them different names, right? I think, right? That, that's what I assume. So it's like... You know, Agent 185, you can have Agent Cupcake, I don't know, like, why not? Different names. This promised land must be surface. I wonder how deep underground we are. 
There's no time to waste. Come on, Agent 8, grab those new dealios and get a moving. Move your body fuiwe. Yeah, so you can only pick them up, so let's just do that. There we go. Oh, here comes the train. How convenient! Okay. Okay, I'm gonna say that is bullshit. How the fuck? How in the fuck did this train manage to stop right before it collided off the, the fucking thing? That is just abnormal. And the other weird thing, too, is that not all the doors are open. Only one of them is. Normally in subway stations, like, this one's broken. Where the heck are we? This place gives me the willies. Got any Krabby Cakes? Yeah, so he just, he just, he keeps on just saying the same thing. So let's just leave the old man. Oh, there he goes. And the story thickens very soon. Oh, wow. Okay, this is cool. I love the colors and the retro feel. I'm pooped, Agent 8. Gotta rest my cuddle bones here for a bit. Wow. You couldn't walk? Alright, whatever. Oh, here it comes. Look at that adorable little thing. Sea cucumber. <laughs> oh my god. Thank you for using Deep Sea Metro today. I can I can only imagine this him doing the weird voice like Thank you for using Deep Sea Metro today. I am your humble conductor, Sea Cucumber. You gotta be screaming me, a talking sea slug. Pardon me? I think it's your first time riding with us. Oh my god, that poor thing. Look at look, it's trying so hard to get over here. Got so far, in the end it doesn't even matter. My god. I, it's supposed to be like it's supposed to be a sea slug, yet it what it's like it's so bumpy and whatnot. It's like taffy. But then someone <laughs> Someone on the internet, because of course they did. They pointed out like the fact that it looked like a, it like looks like some sort of um, a female erotic pleasure toy. It, uh, something you'd see in a stag shop. Here's the deal. We're in a vast underground facility operated by the Kamat Kamabo Corporation. So Kamabo. It's a series of test chambers connected by the Deep Sea Metroid subway system. I see that you're in possession of a CQ-80 device. I take it your aim is to reach the promised land. That's right, we want out of here. Understood. The promised land is a paradise to which we, denizens of the deep, are forbidden entry. To reach it, you must pass a test in each Deep Sea Metroid station. Oh. You must also find and collect the four thang. The four thangs! Oh my god. When all four thangs have been gathered, the door to the Promised Land shall open. So all we gotta do is pass some tests and find some thangs and we get to go home. I believe so. Oh my god, what, what the hell is that arm thing popping all over the place? I believe so. Let me show you your first test. Press X to activate your CQ. You know, I could just walk and just say no. Also, I'll talk about the mags later on, but I want to show you something weird. Oh, yeah, and then this is... You can hit him and he just does that with a little wiggle. But, oh my god, look at this. Oh, no. Look at these weird things. Oh my god, this is... <laughs> They're not even bothered that I'm just harassing these people. It's just like, oh, your head is so jiggly. It doesn't care. Yeah, so you only have like two areas you can interact with, which is just... Agent 8 is just harassing these people. Oh my god, why is it lagging? Okay, hold on. Alright, press the X button. What the hell? Oh ho, what is in blazes? Technology these days. <laughs> also, here's the weird thing. If you look at, okay, if you look at the little device here, 
where her thumb is on the controller. If you notice how she's moving it around, that's how I'm moving with the controllers. I mean, my the thumbstick. So that's kind of cool that, you know. <laughs> this is bizarre. This is the deep sea metro map. Go ahead and select the destination. Well, there's only like one destination. <laughs> A05. Look like the real thing. Fake plastic station. Get to the goal. And you might be wondering, like, what the hell is this test fee? Alright. Very good. Now depart for the first test. So, the first one's easy. It's supposed to tell you, like, everything you need to know. But it didn't get, like, really intriguing. Here you go. At each station, the available weapons will be disposed on top of the, the equ equipper. So this thing is the equipper. So what it's called. Now, there's only one here, but there will be three every level. And then there's like, I'll talk about it more when we get to this thing. CQ points are required to take each test. We'll grant you 1,000 to start with. So yes, every test you have to go through, you have to pay. But every time... So... It's weird how this works. It's like you have a hundred to spend. You have to pay each time to go into the, the the test per se. However, if I beat this game with a hundred, I come out with six hundred. So I come up five hundred more than I would have before. Makes sense. And the more riskier the thing, the more rewards you get. Test fees indicate the number of CQ points needed to take the test. Yeah. War Town is the amount CQ points you will earn for passing the test. Now go ahead and press A to select the weapon. Now, you might also notice that there's a little black dot right beside the AO5. That will be explained a little later because I will be collecting this thing and it will be talked about. But you only get that once you beat the mission, so it's like a little check mark if you beat the thing. This area is where we now call a station platform. You can find me here at each stop. If you'd like more information about a certain test, come talk to me. I'll be always happy to help. So yeah, so... Into the Dark Abyss. So each... And then as you can see, there's like, old things in the past. Like, these are kites, if you remember. Like, kites that have stuff like that. And then here's a thing you can test your weapon on. And then here's the other thing, too. You see this guy, and I'm just gonna harass him for a bit. It, it accepted its life, and then just observes it, it's like... <laughs> so now he's gonna talk to me about what this one's about, so to pass this test... Oh. Visibility here is quite poor, so be careful. Good luck. Take care out there. Once again, to pass this test you must shoot and touch the goal. Yeah, so basically that's all he does, is he'll tell you something, he'll say good luck, and then he'll just keep on saying the same thing again. Okay, so this is a turnstile, so basically this is where he, like any other train station, this is where you go in and out of the pay, the, the pay the test fee and begin the test. If you don't have enough CQ points to take a test, you will have to come back to it. Yeah, and that's the bullshit part, so I, I don't think a lot of people had trouble with this, and a lot of people say they enjoyed this faction, like this is the best one thus far. So... This will be intriguing, so... Alright, first one. So you have three tries, basically. Get to the goal. Alright. Man, this subway is weird. And... You, oh, oh my god, there's like trees with like life support with water on there. Oh, look, it's an Ocelain. Talking to... Talking to Quar! Ocelain's your friend, right? Maybe try talking to them. This destroy He <laughs> got they're really going to attack a few a fellow octoling. You might want to try a little louder. What's weird about this is that that gate's open, I guess taking them out was a good idea after all. What's interesting I think this is the only one too that you're allowed to have two different um like there's actually two different um, times where you can actually equip yourself. So like this is the first protection. You can actually have another one for another protection for this. Only for this one here. 
Other weird thing is that you can also collect some points. Basically, like, those little egg balls. Those are the things that they use for the fee, per se, so... You can technically... Oh, good, there's two of them now. Good, I can see which one they are. Yeah, so I killed them and I got some more. And then she's doing that. So now I'm doubled. So now I've doubled the... Oh no, I just have the first protection. I just lost the other one. Or whatever. I have to move up to get moving. Just making sure I didn't miss anything here. What's funny too is that... I was trying to see if, if you get the second upgrade, it'll be black versus the white one here. So, this is the last checkpoint. Yeah, so. Yeah, see, this is, this is like double the protection now. And then I have this special. Yeah, but weird is the octoling and the squid say different things. Alright, so here comes this one. Oh, run. Oh no, she got a jetpack! She got herself a special. Gotta hit her before... There we go. Oh wow, that's kind of epic, the fact that uh, that opened up like that. Yeah, so every time you beat a mission, you have to do some sort of objective, but, uh, you get to this thing here, and some levels you will have to complete it by hitting this thing, much like how in the other one you had to collect the zap fist, this one you have to hit this, and it's, it's a fucking pen, so it's like, it gets to this, and then you just do that. And then it got this weird little woomy thing. A little woomy eraser. And you may be like, what the fuck is that? They're going to be talking about it right now. Congratulations, you passed your first test. By the way, you received this memento when you finished. It's called a mem cake. I always refer to them as meme cakes. <laughs> meme cakes are formed by compressing memories into physical form. In the form of erasers, they'll be aware. They will be awarded to you by the Kalam Kamabo Co Corporation to commemorate each test you pass. Use the L and R. And you see Q80 main menu to check out your collection of meme cakes. Next stations are now available for you to visit and test your skills with. You can move freely to any station marked with a circle. So this is how this game works, is that you have to go from one end to the other, basically. When you go from this end, when you get to that square, it'll open up a new path, and then the other ones open new paths, and that's how you get to each station line. Basically. Safe travels. Oh, uh, and here comes the story. Huh? Is this thing working? Oh, I hear something. Come in, Agent 3. Agent 3, do you copy? Mike Jack 1 2, who the heck are you? Oh no, it's the little brat. Excuse me? Pearl, did anyone teach you to respect your elders? Ha! Who am I speaking to? Where is Agent 3? State your names. Uh, I think you asked first, dude. Anyways, I'm Pearl, but you can call me MC Princess. My deeds, I'm short and sweet. I spit the fire, make puzz the posers perspire. Step into my game, I'll bring the pain. I'll never shook because I'm off the hook. Oh, check it, kid. Are you stepping to me with the rap battle? MC Craig, <laughs> MC Craig in the house. Call me Captain Cuttlefish, but I'm not the Cuttlefish. Smooth like bird, you wish. Oh my god, they're rapping each other. Okay, you two, that's enough. Oh my god, that's funny. Yeah, he's rapping like... No, so so he's rapping in, um, in haiku, which is weird. 
All right, whatever. Mr. Cuttlefish, was it? We found a radio here and heard your transmission. We're currently on Mount Nanita. Where are you coming from? Mount Nanita? Uh, nat nat Nantani. Mount Nantani. Oh, whatever. It's Mount, Mount N. <laughs> Why, that's near Octo Valley. Agent Nate and I were there, but someone seems to have taken us deep underground. I see. So you and this Agent 8 don't know where you are. Sorry to hear that. But don't but worry not. From now on, you'll have me, Maria, aka DJ Hyperfresh, supporting you. I get to work analyzing your surroundings and hopefully I'll be of some help to you. Also, yes, yeah, someone mentioned this when um Mar uh, when they revealed the looks for Marie and uh, uh, Marina, Marina and um, Pearl, that they are somewhat inspired by or bring homage to um, Notoriously Big and um, Tupac with the way they look, and um, that I guess that was not a coincidence. Anyways, I don't really get what's going on, but hang tight, we got you. Okay, well, anyone who loves rapping is a friend of mine. Thanks for help, your help. We're off to pass some sort of test and make our way to the promised land. And by we, I mean you, Agent 8. Time to get ahead. I get after it. Yeah, so we're gonna get- we're gonna meet more of those two later on. Shout out to my deep sea metro crew. Kamari country is where I'm from. Keep it super fresh and we can defeat the beach chum. Jellyfish down here gets super long neck, and I'm old squid who loves cashing checks. He's a sleepy sleep slug, I don't you forget it. Give it up advice so you don't look pathetic. The cash you borrow, gotta pay it back. You got the chosen one, you got it on your own stack. I knew you were from a retro type of squid, but who's gonna save it now? It is it you, kid? Crossing each chest and bringing the pain, got squid's this tune all up in my brain. It's dark down here in the octo on the ground, something I'm crying when there's no one around. Oof, I'm pooped. This rapping business is quite exhausting. Maybe a good idea for you to rest up too. Peace out, I'm gonna crash a few Z's. Okay, yeah, that's enough. That's funny, the fact that he just rapped. And then he has his old flip phone too. Yeah, so there's nothing here besides over there. Um, out of here, wait, what the fuck is that? Is that like a, a what is that? What is that box? A bo is that a book or is that like, Snacks? Like, what is that? Anyways, I'm wondering, can I... Okay. So, you might notice, like, how do I... Like, if I press this, or press the start button... Okay, so I can't do anything then. I have to go through here then, eh? It's like, you can press image it. Imagine Inkopolis. So there's this magazine here, but you can also... You can also do it through here by pressing the start button. So if I go here and press Imagine Acopolis, this is how I go to and from places. So this is how I get back into the Splatoon 2 world. That's nice. I don't want to know. I don't. <laughs> okay, thank God. I didn't want to know. Which is weird. Alright. Before that, though. I just wanted to show something off. I'm wondering if I'm doing the right menu. No, probably didn't the right menu. Nope. Of course not! Right, it's the X button, of course. Of course it is. Anyways, um... What I'm looking for is... Okay, so I have to actually go to the other place then. Alright, I might as well show you the story, so I might as well see... Like, let's go back to Marie just real quick. Just so I can show you the thing. Just so I can show you that kind of expansion of the explanation of what I was talking about before. So, uh... Let's do it. Oh! Oh, shit! Is that who I think it is? <laughs> oh, f oh, fuck. I forgot. I don't know. I forgot they mentioned this. So, Callie's here. Oh, shit. Let's talk to her. Uh, hey, Agent 4, it's Callie, remember? I tried to kill you. Yeah. <laughs> that was nice to know. 
Yeah, sorry about that, but I'm back on up on the up up promise. In any case, the Squid Sisters and the new Squid Beak Splatoon are ready to roll. I gotta hang out here until Gramps and Agent 3 comes back from whatever it is they're doing. Seriously, where did Gramps wander off to? It's weird how they like. It kind of like it almost sounds like it's it's like a bit of Japanese, but it's kind of mummered in a bit like weird. Like it almost sounds like it seems like it's normal speak, but not really. I don't know if anyone else feels that way. Same too. Hamana nana, hamana mana, ogi 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 zip zao zoom. It's time for today's weapon fortune telling. <laughs> Bam. Okay, I got it. Today's recommendation the weapon is Tri Slosher Novella. Take that with a grain of salt, Agent 4. Okay, what? Hey, I found this book about rapping in Cuttlefish Cabin, yo. What's the deal, Marie? Are you studying to be an MC? No, Gramps have taken up rapping at his new hobby during retirement. Ah, oh, okay, so that's why he looks the way he does. What? <laughs> that face, though. Okay, what else does he do? Is Sheldon joining the new Squid Beak Splatoon? Where did he land? Where did we land on that? We did. We well, well, we did invite him. But he said something about the technology team. About the technology team needing to keep some distance from the troops on the front line. I'm not sure what this all means, but if he's happy, I guess we're good. So it's just a bunch of stuff she talks about. Okay, so this is this is why Callie is here now. She's basically like after this point, she talks about a bunch of um, interesting things, like basically feedback. So say for example, you've done something like like weird, stupid facts you don't even re realize. So like you know, that reminds me, Marine told me all sorts of wild stuff about you, Agent Four. She's been tracking your every movement and logging in her Agent 4 face factopedia. It's totally not creepy. <laughs> you know, there was a joke last year about like me and Marie, and I think I think this is now confirming it because of how upset she is. According to Marie's Agent 4 factopedia, it looks like you worked a total of nine jobs for Grizzly Co. Industry. You should use all that money to buy me dinner sometime. Seriously, Callie, you have more money than you can count. What other weird facts are you going to get me and then I'll be done? Squid Sisters are just me and Marie. But now the new Squid Beak Splatoon got Gramps, Marie, Agent 3, Agent 4, and me. Whoa, we're going to have an army soon? Okay, so they just say random stuff. Gotta remember to check the new script and memorize my line when I get home. Okay, well, yeah. So now you can screw around and weird some weird facts or whatnot. And actually, now I'm curious. <laughs> Sorry, I had to do it. <laughs> I I wanted to curious, and then yeah, here's this guy again. You, you stupid son of a bitch. Anyways, the reason I was here is because of this. So, in the in the the uh, in the beginning of the game, they were talking about the the song that was sung. Basically, the Squid Sisters. There was a reveal near the end with the Squid Sisters, and, um, and I'm gonna spoil this because you know. Basically, Pearl and Marie is Agent 1 and 2, and they were basically helping you when the Cuttlefish was captured by Octavian. And then it was revealed that, oh, they're my granddaughters. And I'm just like, oh, okay, that's interesting. But in the second one, we have this here. Music heads are still bizarre, buzzing over the Legendary Underground show two years ago. So this has taken place two years. Anyone lucky enough to catch DJ Octavian's open set and the Squid Sisters' headline? headlining has their minds blown and their lives changed that night and as you can see there's one person in particular over there that's hit like just right there that looks familiar also the other thing too is that they mentioned something with um, Mar uh, 
with Pearl, and that's going to be interesting later on. So, like, a shockwave stuck while one young lady performed a record at the recently Young Folk Singing Contest, doing damage to the venue. Fortunately, no one was injured, so apparently she can s sing very loud. Keep that in mind. That will be... Keep that in mind! That will be explained near the end. You'll... You'll... What the fuck? Hello, I invited fruit. I invented fruit and I hate you all. What the fuck? Is that... Is it that? Google... The Google.com. Wait, <laughs> Is that the guy from fucking Lazy Town? Oh. How the fuck did... Was he able to make that? Oh my god. I'm the fucking memes that some people do. And then they do some weird, like, and then it's like weird, like, agent thing going on there. Alright. So you don't need to 100% the game in order to beat this place and get the inkling to be a playable character. However, however, I'm gonna say this right now. There is a reason you should do this. What the hell is this? A bunch of fucking stupid facts I don't need. Um, there is a reason why you would want to. And, you know, I'm going to show you. I'm going to beat this line here. The mem cakes here. So this line A, there's only like four more left. Once I beat that, basically I'll show you what will end up happening for the other ones. So there's like... Oh yeah, and then this is like, if you don't like how your character looks, you can change it. So it doesn't affect the save data, so. So this is the meme capes we first got, so let's see what happens if we click this. So ZR. That's a weird picture at the bottom there. So zoom in. Yeah, so it's like a little like erasure, and then you got the woomy inkling girl orange face going on here. And then at the bottom, you got some kaiku. Your path, the, you paint the turf with graceful strokes. With watchful eyes, I breathe a sigh. From sniper's perch, I'll go for broke. So that's haiku, basically. That's the type of rhyming that's there. And I only know about haiku just because of Spiral 3. Just because there's one particular level with a lot of these fucking characters that don't, that doesn't shut up with haiku. All right, baller statue, rolling out station. Get to the goal on the baller before time runs out. Okie dokie. So like I said, I beat A and B. Okay, everything else I don't know, but this is gonna be where it's gonna be annoying. All right, so let's talk to you. Use the baller to get to the goal before time runs out. The clock will start once you pass through the tunnel style. And each time you reach a checkpoint, more time will be added to the clock. Keep in mind that the baller can only climb up wall straight line. Okay, that's it. And then we got some weird cassette tapes and radios. Hold ZR to detonate. Interesting. Use B to jump even when when you're in the baller eight. Oh yeah, now now Marie and Pearl will um, Maria and Pearl will be talking to us. There he goes again. Someone's there. To kill it. These Octarians are seriously pain. I think the Octarians here are different colors because it's supposed to be like um, the different colors of the. Um, like when you go underneath, like underground, the sea creatures there are like low in the dark. But that just might be me. Oh shit. Oh no. Again, I won't be able to read all the dialogue that's being said over here. Oh, no! Because of shit like that. Oh my god. So yeah, prepare for me a lot of deaths. And I'll try looking at each levels because each level has some sort of weird nostalgia stuff going on. So these are like old records and old cassettes and radio. Oh, that's bullshit. Good. Good. I only have one more left, and then that's it. Then I then I die. Oh. Yeah. So then they just kind of give you some feedback, like telling you how to do certain things. 
So this thing doesn't hurt you, but it bounces you all over the place. And that's when it's dangerous because you don't want to be bouncing all over the place like that! To accept a test again, you must pay a fee again. So, basically, ac accumulate test debt as 50%. So, I guess this is the good reason of why what happens when you lose. So, prepare for me to do a lot. And again, this is not the hardest one. It gets worse. And there's a good reason why you'd want to, um like beat a line and it's um I will explain that more later on charge can I even charge <laughs> okay thank god all right so I'm at the final one oh my goodness this is awful this is awful Oh my god. Oh my Good. I get some more points while I die. Because of these fucking stupid car wash things. Okay, come on. There we go. Oh, I did it. And I got another mem cake. I read all the mem cakes once I'm done one line, or before I go take a break or something. So I done that. So that's the next one. Bo one and Ao three. Signs points to yes. Was up eight ball station. Guide the eight ball to the go. Oh no. This is the easiest one of those 8-ball missions, but it definitely is going to tell you of an annoying feature with one of these. Yeah, so again, you have to use this. Which is not, you know. Oh, pfft. You got those, um... Is that those, like, bubble gum? Yeah, no, look, there's, like, the bubble gum type of thing from, um... Like, the Hubba Bubba, or... Those long, um... Half like long foot long uh, bubble gum type things. I just remember Hubba Bubba being one of the main ones, especially with the color and everything. But if you have any ones that are like that but different brand, let me know. I'd love to learn. Please lead the eight ball to the goal. Keep in mind the eight ball will damage any enemies it touches. Suit it carefully but powerfully. Okay. So, as you can see, it's an eight ball. It's just guy go get it also if for some reason if for some reason this falls down I automatically lose the test and the reason I say and I joke about this kind of being like jigsaw is just because of the fact that the device I'm wearing here kind of kills you if you fail something so it's like it's almost like playing a jigsaw game you have 60 seconds to do this, or else you die. Oh no, I don't like this at all. Come on, you, stop it. Get rid of this guy. It does get annoying too. Look at that thing, look at that. It's like it's so close, yet yeah, so far. Hubba Bubba Mott. I remember watching the Hubba Bubba commercials, like the one where they introduced the cartoon versions, but... I'm sure they had it before that. Woohoo. Okay, so here comes the first kind of challenge when it comes into this level anyways. And it's coming up right here, so... Alright, so this is a challenge. You see this? <laughs> I have to be against gravity here. So I have to get it onto this railing here, right? Rest it. Then I have to shoot it, so then it just kind of does it in an angle-wise. Uh, 
Okay, so this is gonna be somewhat of a challenge. That is for damn sure. Luckily, I can rest it here for now, but I can't let it go over, and I can't let it go under. Okay, so this this is okay. So I'm just gonna lightly push it. Okay, so now... Oof, okay. Thank goodness. And then for some reason you can go there to go back there for, I guess, in case you want to. I across the sea sign in a single dash. Oh no. See, that's what I mean. It's just like you failed the test, you die, and then just fucking explodes. And I died on the most simplest of tasks, and not on the hard one, like people would probably expect me to do. I don't know why, too. I see an eight ball switch in front of that vault. Neon lights. Go to the neon light. An elevator, but I guess you're not going to be able to get on with the ball. Oh, so there's the key. It's kind of interesting how they have this test kind of layout. So some of them is like straightforward, go to this line, do this thing. But then sometimes they're complicated, like avoid this or do this stupid shit. Like, it gets really, really bizarre, so... Open this up, and we get this. Because of that reason. I'm surprised that made it through the seesaw. I didn't, I, like, I was luck. I didn't even realize that I was going through the seesaw area. So, this is on the 8-ball. I win. And then we get another weird meme cake, and that's because, technically, let's just see here. Oh, shit. So now we got a new line. You have now unlocked two line. Unlocked two, two lines. You can now view them on the deep sea Metroid map. Stations marked with a circle contains one of the four thangs. Seek them out. I'd like to offer you a reward for finding this new line. Please pay me a visit. So this is this is one reason why you'd like to explore different places with the squares on them. Oh, here we go. Here comes the lore. Oh, by the way, while you've been out there passing tests, Captain Cullifish has been some time on his hands, so we've been chatting with him. We thought you might be interested, so we made the chat log viewable for you. Use the L and R to select the chat logs on your CQ80. Take a look at take a look sometime. All right, so I will do that. Now we got these weird creatures. That has like they j they like they jingle all about. I feel like I'm harassing these things. Yeah, like... Alright, let's talk to you. Any more rapping? Yeah, so it kind of says the same thing, but not really. Alright, so if we... Oh, wait, there's more guy... There's another guy over there? What are you doing out there? You fucking cheapskate. Let's talk to you. As a reward for arriving in a new line, allow me to grant you some CQ points. Please accept 500. That's my reward for doing it. Oh boy. Oh yeah, there you go. So yeah, every new line you go to, there's new characters basically, so... What is this? So that's like Pearl and Marie, I think, over there, and then that's Chugs, I think. Alright, so let's just continue on with this. AO2. Blast from the past, far out station. So here's where it gets interesting, where there's five minutes, and then there's three different things I, I can choose. So this is where I'll explain 
how this system works. Use A to choose one. Okay, so, as you can see, these ones... Okay. Recommended weapons have been given to the Clamoco seal of approval. The rewards for passing each test differs based on which weapons you use, so good luck. So, basically, these will work either way because of what this test is about. However, the harder weapons to use for a certain test will earn the most rewards. However, they're going to be more of a pain in the ass. And the recommendations usually, quote unquote usually, are the best ones you should do in order to pass the test fine. So for now, I'll do this, but I'll just tell you when exactly they're not okay. okay You can switch out any weapons you're using by activating equipment with the A, so there you go. I've got a city here. So yeah. This one's interesting because I have five minutes to get that thing all the way over there. And basically the Rainmaker from the game. Yep, it's one of those missions. Oh boy. And this is why all of them are the same, because technically you don't need all the weapons, because once you get this, this is technically your weapon now. So I grab the Rainmaker, and now this thing is the weapon. So my objection is to get this thing over to the end there. My guy's dead. Trying to be careful because I got you. Got you, bitch. I'm trying to be careful because I know. Yeah, there they are. There he is. I'm gonna hit that thing. Now, when I tried this willy-nilly, I kind of sucked at it very bad. Now, I could probably rush this. Come on. Come on, come on! Damn! Damn! Fuck. Okay, so now one of those dickheads has it. Fuck, I thought I could rush it, but nope. Okay. Oh, damn it. Yeah, and then this is where the dicky part comes in, because then it gets all the way from over here. I don't know why they decided to not pick it up. So I can't, I can't just not do anything then. So I have to try to not rush into this as they're kind of dicking around over there. There, that one's dead. That one's dead. There, I did it. Look, she said sweet twice. I don't know why that's adorable. It's like this woomy. But this one's just sweet. I don't know. I think it says sweet, but... I might be wrong. There's a new entry in the chat log, so I sent them along. Check it out sometime. Oh, right, the chat log. Oh, okay. <laughs> There's this guy. Alright, so this is interesting. 
Now, this guy looks weird because he looks like Dr. Robotnik, just because the way he looks. Now, when reading, when someone was playing this through and reading his dialogue, at first it sounded like he was coming off as being vicious, but I think he's supposed to sound like a jazz guy, like, you know, those kind of like, you know, cool old daddy oh, that kind of vibe, so. Beg your pardon, young squid. I want, yeah. Young squire, might I have a look at those trinkets you got there? Forgive me if I caught you off guard. Hope I'm not too off-putting for the child. They call me Izo Padre. That's not my name, mind you, but that's the only one I can recall for now. Down here, we call those thin slice of memories. Meme cakes. I've spent an age or two here in depths. Hungry for them. They're my only link left. At least I still remember my only days as a test subject, though I waste I washed out early. It's weird how there's this guy who looks like a gangster and the vicious, and yet he has like these toys. As you can see here. Like he's wearing some sort of toy wrist ross. He has like a a thing. He got some plushies. Like how come we don't got plushies like that? <laughs> I pray that you will be the one to cut through the gloom and light and way into my dreams. Share your meme cakes with mem cakes with me and I'll repay the favor. Safe travels, young squire. So remember that. Not sure this Iso Padre is playing with the full deck. Doesn't seem like a bad chap though. Yeah. I wanna see all your shit. Why do you have so much toys? <laughs> I'm not knocking, but I'm just like, you're like you look like the type who doesn't, you're not supposed to have it. And then you have like stickers on your shelves, like, damn. Okay. All right. So, anyways, let's just look at the chat. Like, I know I have these to look at, but don't worry. Two more, and I'll see it. So, let's see the chat logs here. Session one. Webmaster DJ Hyperfish. So this is um, Maria, Maria, Marina. Has joined the chat room. Hey, anyone here? Hello? So they don't tell you like time wise this is going on. Webmaster MC Princess, so this is where Pearl comes in. Hey yo, it's Pearl, aka Miss G Mc MC Princess, aka the Baroness of Bars, aka Miss Foreign Policy. Oh snap, it's Marina. Hey Pearl. AKA DJ Hyperfish, AJ Akika Cool Breakfast, AKA the Fuzzy Dazzler, uh, the Fuzzy the Fuzzy Dazzler, AKA DJ Catch and Release. <laughs> Craig Cuddlefish has joined the chat room. <laughs> Dude's screen name is just his first and last name. Gotta love old people, lol. Hi, Captain Cuddlefish. Can you see the chat room okay on your cell phone? I can see it just fine. Thanks for asking. But all my letters are big for some reason. Hit the cap lock key, cap. It should be the button on the lower left, depending on your phone. By the way, was it? I was able to hack into the CQ80, so Agent 8 should be able to see our text log. Test 1, I'm Cuddlefish. Agent 8, we've seen you... Wait. <laughs> Agent 8, we'll send you a dump of our latest chat logs every few stages. Keep an eye out. Yo, Cap, how do you even type like that? You gotta show me. Oh my god, so this is like, this is Nintendo's way of knocking on the internet kind of deal. Alright, so here we go. Yo, I'm gonna go coop some snacks. Peace! Okay, gotcha. Alright, so now she left the chat lock. Roger Dodger. FYI, I've been using the CQ80's coordinates to gather location data as Agent A pass each test. This place must be deep below the surface. It seems to be underneath the influence of a powerful magnetic force. Too powerful for conven conventional models to assimilate accu accurately. Based on the numbers it's I've seen, powerful enough to distort space-time itself. Captain, have you observed any abnormalities in your surroundings? I'm Mukiwayu. Um, is that supposed to be some kind of secret code? Or did you just butt text me? Bright and bad. Okay, definitely butt text. Hungry for sushi. Right. 
Anyway, it's it's almost like your location is a d different dimension than Incopolis. As long as Agent 8 keeps passing the test, we should be able to figure out what's going on. We'll support you as much as we can, Agent 8. Keep it up. Alright, how nice of them. Jesus Christ. Alright, so... Might as well do this as well. Right on. Gnarly rail station. Ride the rails to the goal. Oh dear. Oh dear. It's one of these. This one, let me just see here. What is this? Wait, what the fuck are those supposed to be? Are they like... Are they supposed... Oh, wait, 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 wait. Hold on. I'm trying to see what they look like. What are those supposed to be? Are they like... Are those, are those like the crackers? Like you would use for like holidays? I think they are. This area is full of rails. You must master them to pass this test. You can use your dodge roll to get onto the rails quickly. Keep in, mi keep in mind that you can activate rails with the explosion caused by balloons. So, ah, shit, this is going to be interesting. 500, Jesus. But they give me five chances, so... Don't forget to use a dodge roll. Alright. So this is where this is going to get interesting. So this is not too bad, but at the same time, this is going to get a little bit difficult later on. Oh, I have to jump. I have to hit the balloon. Or else I'd be screwed. Like that. I don't know why I died there. I hit the balloons. That is just bullshit. That's what that is. Yeah, see again, it does the same stupid shit. Am I supposed to jump like way ahead of time or like what? Watch your step the whole way. Oh my god. And then here we go with this. What the fuck? Why did you screw me over, Agent 8? That's not nice of you. You're supposed to go over here. It's getting too insane. Come on, come on. Yeah. Get the pen. There, I did it. It's dead. We found a new line. That way we get more points. You have now unlocked three lines. You can use the deep sea metro map. None of the four things could be found here. Try searching on different lines. I'd like to offer you a reward. It's nice. What the fuck are these things? They're like little clams, and yet they're on his head. And then they're on. What are these weird things? Oh my god, they're everywhere. And then even the background is weird. Yeah, so how much you're gonna give me? I don't know, 500, that's nice. Alright. So now we're going to this side here. Nice, nice air, bud. Bounce with me station to get to the goal. And I have one thing here. 
All right. 80, 800 test levels like this. Oh god, I can already see why it's called this. In this area, you want to get into the habit of holding B after landing on a bounce pad. You'll get to need to watch the caref movements of this instinct carefully. And please be careful not to run out of ink while jumping on the bounce pads. Oh, press B because that's like the A button. Alright. Oh, that's the jump, I should say. Check it, A. Those Octavian. Yeah, so holding A will jump you higher. There you go. Got this weird... And then it's like flip phones with this weird ass, like, keychain stuff. Like, I even seen in, like... Japanese culture that they usually do. Oh, there you go. She says sweet again. She can't help herself. It's the Octarian's Wumi. Is the sweet. Making noises usually helps. See, like, they sound different compared to each other, which is... It's nice, it gives them some sort of, like, not just they look different, but they actually sound different too slightly. Oh, I remember this. I remember... I'm stupid. Yeah, so this is what I have to do. Luckily, I don't have to collect stupid ass fucking scrolls or whatnot. Keep calm and stay on. Oh shit! I didn't see shit. That's my fault. Oh god! Come on, we're at the end there. Get that! Ah! Again, noises helps. There we go. Nice. Good. Yeah, good. Lovely. That helps. Yeah. Fighting this guy is easier than just dealing with down there. There you go. See? Sweet. Man, that guy looks bored. So I think I need one more meme kicks in and I'm done this line. I think, hold on. Yeah, one more and then I'm done. Wow. Revving up your ink engines. Ink jets. Marverick Station. Fly to the goal before time runs out. Alright, so this looks interesting. So I guess we're gonna get... It's interesting that we get to learn each new mechanic, like these were introduced sometime after this game was released, so... This is one of those ink jets. You shoot down any Octo missiles that gets in your way. Keep in mind that Octo Zeppelins have a weak spot on top, shoot them there. You can of course press B while using the ink jet to flow a bit. And be sure to use those ink switch grapplers as best as you can. Alright. Yep, and then that's all I do is this, I'm basically forever going to be like this. So. so the ink jets, so the way these works is that they only float when it's on solid ground, so it doesn't just do it randomly. So I can't fly in mid-air, and I'll just fall down. Sure, I 
could probably kill them by just... Yeah, just go underneath them. That's one good way of doing it. Come on. So now I can do this. One. So again, this the A line is this easy line, so it's just baby line. Another good thing about this um this is the fact that um the stuff on the floor doesn't affect me here. That looks good. Oh god, why am I moving slow? Come on. Nailed it. Alright, I had to do that. Alright, so this would be all my meme cakes. I still can't get over the fact to see Cucumber there as this weird long arms going on here. Look, I got a set. Seven of eighty. Wait, let's make... Let me make sure I understand you right. You completed a whole series? That's special. That's something else. I've always wanted to see a full set. Alright, so now let's talk to him. So this is what happens, like, why should also get a 100% set? Well, let me show you why. Wow, look at him just observing it weirdly. Wow, the full set tells an interesting story, doesn't it? Hmm. One good turn deserves another. Try this for size when you reach the promised land. Octoling shades acquired. You'll be able to use it once you escape from the deep sea metro. That's right, we get to wear those shades, uh, those cool shades they do. Keep challenging those tests, young squire. I'll leave your gifts with, with the elder squid. And show me any more meme, meme mem cakes as you find. It's never a bother, I assure you. No, if all and anything, he really wants them. Eat those memories. Well, Cuddlefish just looks at me. Anyway, so let's read these four here, and then, like, each one, so, basically, each of these meme, meme cakes tells a story, so, for example, this is all the squids, and then this is gonna be the villains, the octolings, octavians, basically, and then if you go to G, it's, like, logos, alright, so let's take a look at this, so, oh, okay. At last we meet, my so-called foe, but it's our fate to spray this hate. Perhaps we'll learn in deep depths below. Mm. Next one is this angry squid. Womi. With tress pink and eyes of black, a smile so faint it hides your faint. You slip on pass, outfoxed, outflaked. Hey, we're ready, ready, you. This guy looks bored. He looks like, he like, why do I live? What, what's the meaning of life? The rolling Columbus splatters all. A spray shot shakes the trees awake. The summer's turn, here comes the fall. It's weird, and then the inkling boy. Blue. You gaze with sea words with a searing hope. Between each blink, you calmly think. As where you use a splatter scope. Huh. And then you just see her at the bottom just kind of observing. Yeah, so I guess I'll just read these once they're all beaten. Make it convenient. Alright, so let me just finish off the line here by opening C3. Oh, I didn't read it. Anyways, I can read it when I get to the thing. Don't worry. <sighs> oh, it's one of these. Better not tell you now. Bumping 8-ball station. Guide the 8-ball to the goal. So the recommended is this one, but as you can see, it gets, like, harder, so just use the recommendation. Let's talk to you. Why are you looking over there? Pay close attention to how the 8-ball moves. Sponge will absorb the 8-ball momentum. Deactivate checkpoints, approach them with the 8-ball in tow. Alright. Good to keep that in mind. Now, in theory, although you're losing points like this, it's it's bouncing. It's bouncing. Man, look at that. Ooh. Okay, so... 
Oh good, there's more of them. So this is supposed to look like an old retro game station here. This weird 80s vibe. Oh look, it's computers, that's what this one is. Interesting. If it pushes the ball doesn't work, push it even more. What kind of battlefield has eight balls anyways? Oh, it's on the- oh no. I just realized this is on a sponge. Let me get this guy here. Oh. No! Oh god. This almost looks like this is like an Atari system here. Wait, 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 wait. Is that a- is that a, a slug? I'm not gonna respond to that. That was bullshit, what that was. God, that's stupid. That was really stupid. How did that work? It just grinded on the rails and therefore I die. That's... It's weird too, the light is actually just this weird, um, lamp light, so that's intriguing. Okay, so before I do anything, I might as well keep that there and try that. Yeah, look, there's like a squid up here. Why is there a squid there? Okay, so that's gonna forever keep on bouncing until I roll it up. And then it's just gonna stay. Oh, that's not even the only one there. There's like two other ones over here. Yeah, two just absorbs it. Now that is sweet. Okay. Alright. So I'm just curious if... Cause I know, oh, okay, so they don't come out until I push the ball at a certain point, which is bull, so watch. Oh, oh god. This one is all about timing. See, Cucumber just interrupted her talking. Why is this hard for me? It doesn't need to be. That is so stupid. So I have to... I think I almost got it, I just have to shoot it back. Just shoot it at the corner there, on the angle, so. Roll down slowly. Come on, come on, gravity. There, there, ow! Oh! <laughs> this never gave me problems when I tested this out on my own, but here it, it does. Why? There. There. Jesus Christ, and then there's you. Jesus. Come on. Oh, good. No. No, do not ink this, please. No! Fucking stupid bounce pad, I swear. Now I'm paranoid because I was gonna die twice. 
and I didn't want to die twice to this area and have to explain another interesting mechanic. Very. It's weird too, they have like... The springs are basically almost like... What do you call it? Right, so this is the last one. I spot a ball launcher. Huh. Oh, okay. So this one's not that bad because... This is where the interesting of the ball hitting everywhere is coming to play. there's walls and it's not like a dick thing where it just makes me stay there. Pac-Man. So that, the um, next line, this basically looks like it's about... Oh, what the fuck? You found line four, you can view them on this. It seems like there's one of the things here, and he wants to repay me. What the... What the hell? What the fuck are you? What the hell? It's like a creepy fish thing, but yeah, it's like casually going to work. Like, these things are business. Those guys were talking to one another. Oh my god, what is this? Oh my god. It's just some, it's this fat blubby fish. I can't help, I'm gonna abuse it. Like it just jiggles. Look at that blubber fly. <laughs> thousand this time, nice. Sorry, I can't help it. I just gotta play with it. Let's sit with my new friend here. Ah, oh, and he disappears. Okay. Alright, so that line is all done now. So let's go to B, which is this one here. Um, let's see, this one's 16, and this one's 2. So I'll go back. I'll go in order. So this last one here. Huh. Grind it out, pop in fresh station, ride the rails and pop all the bl- Oh my god, this one. F fuck this one. I remember this one being so bad, I got mad. <laughs> oh. So they recommend you to use this. Fuck that, no. Use this. It's a lot easier. Believe me. For me anyways. Also, we can talk to him over here, right? Pop all 30 target balloons. If you leave a single balloon on pop, you fail. Jump on in, we'll get started. Oh, and if you take any damage, the test will end, so take care. Also, this is interesting, but if you shoot him... He's just, he's on the floor now. This is his life now. He's just gonna accept it. He's gonna accept being down here for the rest of his life. It's weird, too, because sometimes you see him just kind of moving his arms around like he's just kind of raising, like, hands like he just don't care. And then sometimes he's moving around on the walls there, so... Alright, so this is gonna be stupid, so... Yeah, I have to shoot all the balloons, and then I get to move on. And the reason why I hate the sniper is because the sniper, as people would recall, Sheldon's snipers suck. Very much. I did not like it at all. So, and again, I played this one before, so I know what to expect. So, anything above C is gonna be new to me. So I could have jumped that, or I could have just simply ducked like that. Also, I don't know what. Uh, 
half of them. And then there's other tests that are easy and then others that are going to be hard, so... And yeah, so once you get all the balloons in a certain order, that's when these things start opening up. If you don't get all of them that they're looking for, then you lose. So this is the last one, so this is where I have to do that. Okay, so this is the last one. One more left. Look at that, first try. That was easy. First try, baby! But, no. I'll tell you this much. Damn. Another line unlocked. No thing, though. Oh well. So we got a mix of these things. That guy. Oh my god, what are these fucking things? What are you? You're like some weird eel thing. And he's just observing his friend while his friend's just dead on the floor here, sleeping. And then this is this is really bizarre. You get this weird creature. And it's a female, as you can see. Because it has a female figure, and yet... What the fuck is this? What, what is this? I'm just fucking around with its face. So another nice. Okay, good. I don't even know what the hell you are. Jesus, you you're very weird. These these creatures, man. Alright, next one here. Let's go ahead now. Spin Docto Station. Spin your way to the goal. So if I recall, I think the drums is gonna be a big feature in this one. And then here he is on the wall again. So this one they wanted me to use this, so that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna sit you on the floor. There you go, now let me talk to you. In this area, shoot the ink switch will help you out. Look carefully for the ink switch and please watch your step. I feel bad for him, I just knocked him off. And then we got some weird ass hangers and clips. In fact, clips... Wait, wait, wait. Clips are acting like they're fish. You, you see this, right? Wow. The detail in this area. Like, this is so weird. Okay. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa! Okay. That's... That was... Okay. Nintendo, that was almost like a dicky move right there. Man. Look, look at this. Oh yeah, and they gotta love the music too. Okay, the other weird thing I'm just gonna talk about now is that I've recently got all of my, almost all of my reactions to the um, E3 stuff already uploaded now and on live on the channel. Only thing I didn't get done yet is to post the um, my final thoughts on the whole thing, as well as the um, what was it? The last thing was the. Um, my um, highlights that I've decided to want to do, like, a, in, not in retrospect, but basically a, um, in conclusion, this is what it basically is. If that makes sense. But, um, what's weird is that out of all the companies that could have copy striked me, the worst one was Ubisoft because there was one song in particular during their stupid fucking di um, Divide 2. It copyright striked my, like, the song that they used there. 
to the point where it's like, oh, I'm sorry, that's, that's like, blocked worldwide, so I had to remove the sit song, which is bullshit. And then the one company I didn't get any copy strikes from, which is very weird, and that was, um, was EA of all things. But, you know, some of the companies I got A-OK -okay with, some of them, others not so much, but yeah, EA out of all the companies was the one that was like, yeah, you're cool. Oh, 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 okay, bye. So I just have to fall in this, hope I got this right. Oh! Got them wacky, inflatable arm tool people. Sweet! <clears throat> Very retro. So I think in this line we'll actually get one of the four thangs that is needed. So what is this line exactly? Let's see, so is this C? Yeah, it is. So this was the next line we have to go to afterwards. All right, just cute. This cruising red ride station, right? The tower. Okay, I have to remind myself what this one is. There are some of these missions that just suck. Oh, it's this one. Oh. Yep. I have to be on that tower and wait all the way. And as you can see, there's those little bastards over there, the octolings. Please ride the tower to the enemy goal. The tower will start moving once you are on board. Be aware that the tower will pause for a bit when it reaches each checkpoint. And then that's, that's it. And then the type of weapon I have is the um, machine gun here. All right. Wish me luck. And there they are. This is gonna cause problems, for sure. All right, you just gotta ride the tower all the way to the end of the goal. And then there's like a skateboard too, for some reason. Now, I think once you get, like, once you check, do a checkpoint, then these don't stop anymore. And then once you kill these characters or enemies, then uh, they don't appear anymore. So they're just done. Period. And then, you know, they'll do shit like this. Yeah, so see, like, they, they, like, they knew where I am, kind of. But other than that, it's just like... No, stop losing it. Get your ass on top of there. enough time though but still it's like and then these fuckers is riding along okay you want to fucking come over here then come on come over here bitch dead and then I get weird songs like I wrote, like... Yeah, so these things don't last for Like, these guys don't respawn. Like, once they're dead, they're dead. So 
Oh, there's two more checkpoints after this. Okay, last checkpoint, and then it's going to get to the end here, so this is where it's going to get interesting. And the checkpoint's clear, too, so... All I have to do now is just kind of go back. Oh, good! Yeah, no, just push me in the water. Bitch. And I have like two minutes left. Oh, come on. I'm just almost there, but these fucking... There, dead, finally. Good. Get rid of these people. It's like, I have to do this. Click R. There, good, dead. There, I did it. Fuck you. Goddamn. Just cruising my ass. Gee, I was almost close. I almost failed that one. Due to time. Alright, so this one. It's density, so whack. Eight ball station. Find and return the eight ball. Okay, I remember this one. This, this one's not that bad. It's basically go all the way to the end and then you just go back again. So what are they? Okay, so this is the one they want me to use. Oh! Isn't those um things they're advertising here, the metal things, aren't they like one of those weird, they're stuck but then you do it a certain way and it's like, oh, I got them back again. Out again. Wait a minute. Are those ammunition crayons? Is she shooting crayons? Purple crayons? Or pink crayons? Please lead the eight box to the goal. This test is a bit longer one, so you need to mem mentally strong. Stay focused and don't let your con constant lane. Yeah, so <clears throat> instead of getting to the ball to the ending, we go to the ending to the ball. Checkpoint will come back later. That's why that's there. Oh good, now we have this guy. That we will hopefully we'll need to deal with. She goes with her sweets. I see. I can use this later on. I don't really need to, but it's that easy. And then this goes over here. He's over there, I believe. There we go. Then 
where that key leads into unlocking is probably where the eight ball is. No. Head to the vault indeed. Yeah, look at that. Nice. Yeah, so this is where the elevator is. So be careful. Yeah, so this is more of the rough stuff, so this won't. Me too. Yeah, so the enemies don't respawn, which is interesting. I think in other levels they probably will. It's weird, it's like an eight ball, yeah, it doesn't tell you the fortin fortune this one. Yeah, so this is the part. I'm not looking forward to. There we go. So now all I have to do here is just smack it there, and that should be the end there. So I'm surprised it just doesn't just, you know. Oh, come on. You were there. Just... There you go, sweet. Do-do-do-do. So a lot of these just keep on opening up, eh? So it's like, you know. So some of these will probably be done before we even move on to the next one, so let's just see here. Blowing up like it's all good. Notorious station. Get to the goal using curling bombs. Oh, fuck. I'm trying to recall what this one's all about. Great. Oh, I think I remember this one. You want to have a main weapon this time, so proceed with caution. That said, feel free to dispatch your foes with curling balls. You can adjust how far you curl ball by pressing the hold in the R. Yeah, so basically, if I hold it right, it goes far. But the more I hold, the more I hold, basically, is how long, like, it'll just go slower. I remember this because there's one part in particular that's really weird. What's well, weird too is I have to do this. Whose Octo Zeppelins don't have a posture of this thing. Okay, so this is where it's gonna become hard because I'm gonna have to do. Yeah. 
this. Okay, so this is where the weird part is. So I have to jump high. But then I have to also throw it. So then that happens. That is so weird how you were supposed to do that. But we're finally done, and... This one has a bunch of old film that people used to have. And then we just get to ride and then also jump over these things because I think that's how they want us to do this. Mino! Mino! So I think they actually made more music for this, and uh, the other interesting thing I want to talk about with the Octo Expansion... Oh good, we get to learn more lore. I will in a bit. What's interesting is that all these tests are actually, apparently, if I recall, they were actually made by, um... What do you call it? I believe... Recall, I'm just recalling. I think they were made by the same people who did the, um, the Breath of the Wild, um, missions area, the temples. You may rely on it, fly 8-ball station, destroy all the bumpers before time runs out. Okay, so this one's actually very fun, but, yeah, I believe the, the, the team behind all the tests in the break of Breath of the Wild is the ones responsible for this. Okay, so, the machine, but... Please destroy all the bump ball bumpers before time runs out. Use the right switch to move the right and left switch to move the left. Yeah, so that's about it. So, I'm controlling those things here, so I have to do this basically. to do this within the time limit. I have to destroy all these things. So this is like that one old game. And there we go. We did it. Fun little test. There we go, we did it. Fun little test. Hopefully I can fail a test many times that I will be able to show off something, but I'm getting close to the where this cake thing is. Or the the thing is. But in any case, just in case if I do be if I do have to take a break before I um do the game, I'll tell you exactly what ends up happening if you decide to do something like that. Gnarly Glide Rail, Righteous Rail Station, Ride the Rails and Bust All the Tark. Oh, shit. I remember this one. This one's not fun. Look at it, look at him just on the wall, just waving his hands back and forth. Very amused. So I believe they want us to use this, but I think I had a hard time using this. I'm gonna try it. Maybe then I can actually see of um, how to do it. So if you remember one of the grind rail challenge that we had to pop balloons, this one's the same, but except I have to do it with boxes. Yeah, so 30 instead of balloons, it's boxes. If I miss one, I won't be able to go ahead, and if I take damage, then I die. So much like the same thing, but I get five lives this time. So. Again, I know what's going to go on because I've done this before, but I've died many times here. So, I'm hoping what will end up happening is that, um, you know, and then some of these things move, so that'll make it even harder.
But, um... Yeah. Weird thing is, I'm, I'm more capable of doing stuff if I don't talk and I'm just doing it, compared to just talking about it. Just because then I'm more likely to fuck up. Come on, come on. Oh! Fucking skill, mate. Jesus. I was almost a loss there. And I almost got hit, so that was always great. Okay, so this one I've always had trouble with because I had to do this. I had to jump on the second one. Okay, good. Okay, do this. Come on. Okay, good. Ah! Did I mention, by the way, if you lose, you have to do it all over again? So even though I was, like, near the end, I had to do it all over again, so that's always fan fucking fantastic But, um... If I do lose 10 lives for this one, um, there is an... A feature that Nintendo has, which is like what I call baby mode, where it's like, oh, you suck at the game, let us help you with this. And hopefully, one of these will end up having me have that pop up. In which case, I will, uh, I can show that off, but otherwise, this is gonna be harder to do. I have to focus all my concentration. To get my body ready. I'll be ready for Freddy. And you have to make sure you got your timing right because you can fuck it up. So this is the last four. Oh, and I just barely jumped. Oh, I just failed once, Jesus. That took me so long, I ended up having to have that thing pop up, like, more than once. Not fun. Oh, and there's another chat log. I forgot to do the chat log thing. Alright. Let's see the chat logs, and then we'll go to the thing. Season 3. Okay. Yo, how do I make the chat window full screen? Alt F4. Memsey Prince is left out. <laughs> oh, fuck. It's one of those memes that's like, Oh, I know how to make it go faster. Just go into your control panel and type in erase all. It's like, okay. And it's just like, er like delete like, just remove, um, C drive, and it's like, removing everything, and you're like, oh shit. <laughs> Alt-4, if you type in Alt-F4, it'll close the window, basically, so, she just got fooled into doing it. Can't believe that actually worked. Anyways, nice work passing through test, Agent 8. Unfortunately, I have to discover, I haven't discovered anything new since our last chat log, so we're kind of stuck in the mud. But in the meantime, I was thinking we could get to know each other better by posting some pictures of ourselves. Here I go then. Or I'll, I'll go first. What the hell? It's, is that Pearl just rocking out there? It looks like that's his. Whoops, wrong picture. Now... <laughs> now what do we have here? It's like, oh, you perv, no. Uh, it's an old picture of Pearl. Don't tell her I said this, but... Pearl is seriously the coolest. Anyway, back to work. We have to save pictures, share for later. Save pictures for later. Alright, here we go. Uh, she joins the team. I'm back, one. Yes, you are. Maria, you're here. She's in the head. The head. Whatever. Yeah, why is there a picture of me posted in here? Isn't this against the law or something? Something data breaching, invasion of privacy thing? Oh, we're doing intros. Just read that part. Okay, then it's my turn to post picture Maria. Boom. Okay, wait a minute. Looks like she's like in the dump and she seems like she's in her her octoling getup. 
This is when we first met back in the day. Interesting. Here's a bonus venture. Here's a bonus one just cuz. <laughs> like, I wake, wake up, wake your sleepy head up. Pearl? Oh my god, the fucking dramat. Like, Jesus. Alright. Here lies the fortune, the fortunate thing. Grab and go station. Let's go get it then. Oh shit, are we gonna do a boss battle? I'm surprised no one's here. Okay, well. It seem like anyone's here. Keep moving. Keep your wits about you thought just in case. Oh shit, this looks like a boss. Wait, what the fu- is that one of the things? Wow, it's like a train station stop here. It's weird. Anyways, what the fuck is that look? Wait, that looks like a bl bottom of a blender. Weird. Okay. I bet I blow this up and then a monster pops up. Okay, let's grab it. Wait, that's it? <laughs> so she's doing a selfie and having Sonic music. That was easy. Yeah, no shit, that was easy. <laughs> okay. Well, the first thing completed. There you go. Wow. Oh, good. The phone. You are the bomb full of Vizzle. You got the first thing. Find all four and you will err the promised land. Keep on keeping on. So this is one of the four things, eh? These things are as weird as this place, but we gotta get on here somehow. Let's hurry up and find three more. I'm counting on you, Agent 8. Yeah. Okay, so we're back here then. Oh, yeah, wait, there's this that weird th creature that we've met there. Oh, fuck! Are they ever. Wait, 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 wait. Are they advertising the fucking SNES? Oh, no, what? Shit, they are. Whoa, man, they even, they even got the SNES minis. God damn it, I still don't got one. I know they recently re released it, but still. I can't talk to them, but yeah, look at this thing. This almost looks like a coffee grid thing. Wait, wait a minute. Oh, I see. So it looks like it's... It's like it's like an ejector or something. Because there's like a, a stand pad there, and it looks like... Huh, this is weird. Okay. I don't know. Something's fishy going on here. Hang on a second. Let's see if I can beat this station before I can, uh, take a break. Alright. So we're here. So the next thing is over down there. But I want to go ahead and just beat this line here. For reals, ink and slice station. Get to the goal. Alright, remind me what this one's about. Oh, okay, yeah, I remember this one. Basically, he's talking about those things there. And then these are... What the fuck are these? Oh, wait a minute. Are those those weird plants? Yeah, those are weird plants. Like the, the one that has a guitar and it dances. No idea why. This thing's just moving around now. Need to use the ink fluor in the area to create a path through the air. Once you're unfilled, shoot the end to keep them that way. And keep in, and keep in mind that ink fluors will roll back up if they hit the ink. There we go. I'll have you be on the floor. Okay, get to the goal. So some are easy, some are a little bit challenging, so I'm assuming these things will get a lot more challenging, so hopefully I'll get to see. Oh, good. And then they do that shit here. Oh, good. Sweet, and then not sweet anymore. Yeah, so it's like 
the last one, except for this heavily basing on this stuff here. Let's see what's over here. Besides onion rings. Calamaris. Well, that's cool. They actually added the um, inks, like to make the guitar look like an inkling. That's interesting. I love the designs that they have here. Jesus. These things just don't stop. This one down. Good. All dead. Oh, and then there's something down there in case I fell, but I didn't want Oh, that's funny. This kills that guy. If I recall, this thing will go all the way back. God. Screw you. Was there anything I missed? No, not really. I don't care about that. But we'll... Hopefully, I'm hoping that there's not like a twist where fucking sea cucumber is the villain and all this. I don't know. I mean, I'm thinking about it because I'm seeing slugs all over the place. Outlook, not so good. Tumblr 8-Ball Station. Okay, another one of these guides to the 8-Ball. I'm wondering why this one's bad. What's the get up with this one? Um, Spiresop Jr. kind of has that SNES look to it. And... I have no idea what this is supposed to be. Like these glass and... Well, I have no idea. Like, I'm supposed to remember what those are, but I can't think nostalgic-wise. Let me assure you that the movement of the 8-ball followers or whatever... I must also inform you that you won't be able to ride on the 8-ball rails. Oh, okay, I remember this. Two tries to aim for the center of the 8-ball when it's shooting at it. So this one has the gimmick of, like, these... these grits. Hey, a ball! Yeah, so these rails here, these are only like eight ball rails, so. Yeah, so like. Does that? Oh yeah. And then it kills that guy by just bopping him on the head. Bop it. You gotta go bop it. Oh, good. Oh, no. I don't want to kill that guy. I got too, uh, pushy. Let's 
pushing the wrong way. Not pushing straight. How dare you hit my ball. I mean, I could just push it like this, but, you know. You want me to use all my ink. Mmm. And this ball kind of creates. I've noticed too that the colors here, like the ink, I mean the squids are always different colors, but this one it's like you're always pink and the enemy's always like weird light green aqua type of color. Oh shit, I remember this bop it. So it's like, uh, it gets destroyed, but... Nice. A friend of mine's playing some Splatoon as well. Yeah, so now I know. So these things get destroyed when you get hit, but they bounce back off, so I have to just kind of, like... Do that. Mmm! -hmm. to a place I wanted the appropriate for. So. Steady. Steady. There we go. I get to watch this. Roll, 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 you ball. Ink roll, right on, right on. Last one. Let me just see this. Okay, I see what I have to do here. It's all about timing, though. I have a feeling that there's gonna be some a hole, especially right over there, that's gonna spawn. Yep, there we go. I love it. They just spawn when they get them when the ball gets to a certain point. They don't spawn like oh, it's almost like it prepared for such a thing because it's like you couldn't make it that easy. And so now this is gonna keep on launching up in the air until. Yeah, so it's gonna keep on doing this until I sh until it shoots with that, like that. before uh, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, so, so five more and then uh, I'll be taking a break and probably coming back later on tonight for a little bit more, for maybe, maybe, I may not, we'll see. Rock and roll them, burlet, roll up station, feed on the menus, alright, so I remember this one. Hold on, let me just see something real quick. I think someone's trying to contact me. <laughs> someone's just asking me a question. 
texts in me. Um, so let's recommend to use this. I think I remember why. All oh, right, this balloon shit. All the enemies. Oh wait, so it's the enemy. All oh, right, right, it's the enemies, not the balloons. Okay. Yeah, now I remember. I have to do this. I have to look up and then just kind of. Interesting that I have to do that. And then there's now more. Oh wait, no I don't. I do this. Hold on, there's one more. One more to go, where? Oh, this fucker. Oh, and there's a game board area here. Oh, come on. That's great. I think there's just one more left, right? Yeah, there's just the one guy over here. You can reach him. It's weird, they don't really tell you where they land in the GameCube. Right. Come on. Oh, come on, that is bull. Now, got him. Just letting somebody know I'm streaming right now. I'm getting a lot of people responding, so. I'm currently just trying to uh, finish this off. Fat Splat Station, bring the ruckus, defeat all the enemies. So if I, I'm trying to remember which one this one is. I think this one is the one I was thinking about with the square, the boxes. No. Huh. Speed on the enemies, raise ink on enemies from above, it's not very effective here, and be aware that the dash tracks will also cause things like curling balls to dance. Okay. Alright, so this one's just, you know, kill all the enemies to proceed on. And then what's funny here is that there's this guy over here, right, that's causing big problems. There's actually a way you can actually get this guy. Well, not this guy, but you know. Over here.
Oh wait. These ones are like weird. Yeah, they look like they're like the little weird toys that kind of come with those like the small action figures type of deal. I'm trying to think of a good example. Okay, so this one I have to beat everyone here. Oh. Well, you don't, like, if you die at all, that's it. Doesn't know what it's doing. Okay, so now I have to just do the bottom. Well, that was a waste. Great. Wasted some more points. Ah. Uh. I don't even know why they need to know these tests, like, huh, can an, can an Octoling survive doing this stuff? Hmm, let's find out. He's getting very, very invested in something like this.
sorry about this guy. Got that guy. Got that annoying one. Steamroll them. Pretty much. And then there's some more. Go to the other one so I can get some more of that. So. I love how it's just a big glop. With the color there. With the look. Finishing off line B, and then I'm gonna take a break, and I'm gonna see continue on with C and D and all that. So I'm almost done. So I need 14, 15, like two more, I think. Uh, step it up, break dance station, defeat all the enemies. So this is the one I think I remember. That's a little bit difficult. Yeah. So it has this look of like this squid. But the idea is you have to kill all the enemies, but every time you hit one of these, these are like wooden blocks, so they'll end up destroying some of the platform. Yeah, fight your way through while standing atop a breakable platform. Shooting carelessly is not recommended. Watch your step and try to remember the location of the surly crate. And then, what is the actual, like... Oh, it's just a bunch of plants. That's not... There's nothing retro about that. Because, yeah, that's it, just plants. What the heck is that? Yep, so then that happens there. See, and then that's the beautiful part is as that shit starts happening, so you have to be careful. But there's not a whole lot, there's like, what, two people I need to do? So there's these two, and then there's a big fat guy. Oh, shit, there we go. So I have to be careful. Just gonna grab this, so I'm somewhat protected. These ones, though, are okay, like, they don't get broken that easily. Should be fine for the most part. Alright, so this is the last hard one right here. Big boy. And done. Oh wait. This is the first time my color's different on her. I'm so used to just seeing pink, but now we got blue purple. Huh. Weird. Yeah, so now we got 15 and then 16. So these are the last two. This one opens up D, and then this one is the last one, so this one's all about... Oh, I hate that one. Heads up, missiles up, ink from above. Okay, so these two ones I remember. So this one, I have to basically make it to the end without any weapons. For now. And then the last one is like a balloon mission. Also, I love the squid. Look, like, look, look at what, um... It's hard to see, because if I press the button, he'll stop doing it, but it's, it's weird seeing Sea Cucumber just waving its hands like that. This is bizarre. Yeah, see, now he's done, so that's kind of sucky. Camera's always watching. Holy shit, hold on. Is that the GameCube? Yeah, boy, the GameCube. Oh, man, that brings me back. I love it. It's like the most powerful system at that generation, and then it was made so you can have it 
my carry-on. That's cool. Small discs, though. Take care to avoid the missile fired by the missile octoling. If you're under a roof, you should be safe, and please watch your step. Alright. So far, so good. I'm actually not doing that bad for this stuff. Yep, yeah, so here's... Missile Octoter. Careful, those things fire from above. I'll miss a copy for sure. And then this is the hard part because I can't destroy these boxes, so I'm gonna have to have them kinda aim at me purposely. So then that happens, so I'm gonna have to do it like this. And then go away as soon as he to see me. And when that happens, it's moving. I have to find the key, I know that. Oh, there it is. There's the key. Cha-ching! Where's the ball? Okay, so that guy can't hit. You know, the missiles kind of remind me and sound like the Super Mario Sunshine one. It's weird why that's the case. Oh, great. For eel, I can spot you from that far away. Oh, this is gonna be weird. I'm gonna have to have this thing hit this. Oh, it's not gonna hit this. Oh, it did. Oh, something's here. Oh, there goes my shield for now. So I feel like I'm fucking helpless here. Nino. So spoiler, I need this. Gone. Don't reel that. And then I have to go on the ground. Now this guy can't hurt me. But. Yay, I got weapons finally, so they kind of cheated. Oh, you don't have weapons in this one. Turns out you do. Just have to wait until he does his stupid shit. Okay. I'm hurry up and go underneath here. And then this one, I'm just gonna have to do more revenge. Time to get my revenge. So long as he doesn't kill me. that to happen, did ya? Revenge. There we go. So one more, and this one's a little bit annoying. But, it's not bad because I remember what I'm supposed to be doing. Like, it's about memorization. If you have one balloon missed, then you are dead. Another line, but nothing there. Fuck is that? Why are you reading? What paper is this? It looks like it's talking about Pearl and Marie. I don't know. It's very bizarre. Those guys are talking to each other. Hey, hold on. What's on the cell phone? I think that's like. Oh, well, that's that's Callie and Marie. A Marina. And Callie and Pearl and Marina and Callie and Marie. Calamari. So give me more. 150. Nice. 
together again. Alright, let me do one more. Hold on. Oh, look at this guy. He's just... He's living the edge. What is wrong with you? Just sleeping on there. Anyways. This looks like a real underground station with these here. Anyways. Let me do the last one in the blue here. As 50 yellow balloons go by, pop rock station, pop all the balloons. Alright, so this will be the last one and then I'll end this episode, or this session for now. Take a break and then come back later on. Look at him, he's just waving his arms. Why is he doing that? Okay. Pop all 50 targets. If you leave a single balloon, you fail. And the balloon will flow away. Don't waste any time. Jump on in and we'll get started. You must pop all the balloons or else you die. Some more of these. Alright, here we go. So I have to remember how to do this. So there's the first one. So like the other balloons, they just kind of go here and then they just kind of disappear. Oh fuck, and then that's the other thing I have to keep in mind. Keep in mind, Danny. Fuck. It's gonna get harder because... Half of them. Okay. So this is where the hard part comes in. This is where they want me to do this. This happens here. God. Ten more. Oh god. And the last one up here. Ah, oh, thank god memorization. Alright, so let's read all these little guys and then um, I'll end this part of the streams and come back maybe later on tonight. For a bit more of the Splatoon-ness. Look at that. Collection complete. Two full sets now. Young Squire, you're outdone yourself. I'm not much of a teacher, but if I was to give you an A for effort... Well, and then this fucker just pushed me away. That's not nice. Alright, let's talk to you then. Well, wow, full set tells an interesting story, doesn't it? Hmm. One good turn deserves another. Try this on for size when you reach the promised land. Oh, nice, some gimp suit. <laughs> the Neo Octoling armor. Armor, quote unquote, as they call it. Now, now my own collection top out as. Uh, my, my own collection topped out as a mighty two. Mem cakes, I mean. Two mem capes is not a meal. It's not even much of a snack. It looks like erasures, though. I don't know why they call it, keep on calling it cakes. So I already did 22 out of the 80 levels. So that means, at this rate, it's probably... No, I'm probably saying that, but it's going to be harder. Knowing me. Alright. So we got an Octali Octarian. The world I knew seems like a trap. I'm drawn now to the strange and new. Would my old friends think me and s think me a, s a sap? Huh. Twinticle Octo Octo Trooper. Two fat and heavy locks hang low. They frame your face above a base of stumpy legs and pig and pigeon toe. Hmm. Octocopper. A hilltop picnic, friends and fruit. Your whirling blades provide us shade. I raise a hand and mock salute. Octobomber. Destroy your troubles, bombs away. A tempting thought brought all to naught. No wonder your friends tends to stray. 
and Tela Cooper. These guys are annoying because they just run away. Your face away, think of me blind, like I don't know what you won't show. Your love is still clear from behind. Huh. Alright. Octopod. These are weird. These look like shy guys almost, doesn't it? And I only say it's like erasers because these remind me of like some erasers, like the ones that have decorations. They look like this for some reason. So principle you might explode, but when you burst, who really cursed? Your loved ones have to bear that load. The Octo Stamp, which is weird because they don't really look like this. They have something else, but whatever. It seems to you a shy attack, but for your pains you make no gains. You only get shot in the back. Octo Zeppelin. Huh. How lofty your floats on high, suspended there in strayo air, as you drip purple passing by. A tentacle. <laughs> I remember these. These are like the boss things. How desolate this star marked limb is what awaits me the same fate? I must not dwell. It must too grim. Hey, look. It me. Hey, look. It's me. It's much too grim. It knows. It's self-aware. It's self-aware, guys. Oh, shit. Okay. And I think the last one here for now. The octoling. Through parted by the ocean deep, my oldest friend, we meet again. I touch your face, you're roused from sleep. Huh. Weird. So the next one looks like we're going to take a look into the, um, the salmon, the salmon things. These, this, E, F, I don't know. G's, this, H, I. So I looks like it's the last one by the looks of it. So I guess the next one is C, which is long. D. Huh. Yeah, so the next one is C, so I guess... Next time we come back on here, we'll probably play through... Drink and Dizzy, Shirley Ink Station. So, uh... Yeah, I think we could call it here for now. I will hopefully be back later on, but just in case not, um, hope you at least enjoyed watching this part. And, um, hopefully I'll be able to rest up and get some more commentary going, so keep in, keep in touch, man. I'll, I'll be, hopefully I'll be back at about 6.30, so maybe, like, keep your eye on the thing. If I don't pop back in before 8 o'clock, then, um, uh, I may not come back at all that night, but just keep an eye out. I might not do a whole long stream when I come back, but definitely taking some uh, breakies, so enjoy for now. I shall be return. I wanted to end it on a haiku, but I couldn't, so let's end it like Yo, what the fuck? Hello, I invited fruit. I invented fruit, and I hate you all. What the fuck? Is that? Is it that? Google, the Google.com. <laughs> Is that the guy from fucking Lazy Town? Oh, how the fuck did was he able to make?